Point, please. Play. Welcome to Wimbledon 2015. The 129th Championships are almost upon us at the All England Club as we await the arrival of the world's best tennis players. The next two weeks will see the courts at SW19 filled with scenes of triumph, heartache, endeavour and despair. So who will be favourites to claim both the men's and ladies' crowns? Novak Djokovic was a top seed coming into the championships last year. Pushed to four sets early on by Radak Stepanek, he then faced a tough route to the final, meeting both Marin Cilic and youngster Grigor Dimitrov along the way. The Serb dropped the second set against Dimitrov as an upset look to be on the cards, but a 7-6, 7-6 finale saw Djokovic make it to the final to face nemesis Roger Federer. The seven-time Swiss champion of Wimbledon was in impressive form during the two weeks, dropping just one set to Stan Favrenka in the quarters. In the finals, however, Federer took the opening set as the match ebbed and flowed. But Djokovic wore his opponent down, claiming his second Wimbledon title, with many describing the match as one of the greats. 2013 winner Andy Murray comes into the tournament having won the Aegon Championships in London and reaching the semis of Roland Garros. The world number three made it to the quarterfinals of Wimbledon last year. Can the Brit go all the way again, ten years after making his first All England club appearance? Rafael Nadal was beaten by hard-serving Nick Kyrgios in the round of 16 last year, an improvement on 2013's first round exit, but the Spaniard will look for much better this time round. The 2014 ladies' final was billed as a promising affair as Petra Kvitova took on Eugenie Bouchard. It proved to be anything but, however, as Kvitova blew her opponent away in straight sets, 6-3, 6 love. The world number two won her second Wimbledon title dropped just one set en route. Bouchard has had a year to forget, reaching just a quarter-final at the Australian Open back in January. The 21-year-old lit up the All England club last time around. Can she go one better in two weeks' time? You can never write off five-time Wimbledon champion Serena Williams. Ranked first in the world, the American has already won the Australian, Miami and French Open this year, beating Maria Sharapova in the process. The 28-year-old Russian burst onto the scene at the age of 17 by winning at Wimbledon in dramatic fashion. Sharapova may have to overcome Williams again, having lost to her in the Australian Open earlier in the year. Elsewhere, Simona Halep is seeded third and Denmark's Caroline Wozniacki is seeded fifth. The sporting world will be watching every forehand, backhand, smash and volley as the very best make their way onto the most famous of grass courts.